Can we talk a little bit more about paying for the CCRC, Molly? So you said some require a lump sum. So maybe that's selling the home, you know, converting Mm -hmm. those assets to cash in order to be able to pay for the CCRC. But can we talk about the other different plans that are available and what those look like and financial? Like how do people pay for CCRCs? And you did mention long-term care insurance, which we can Mm -hmm. talk about that a little bit more, but give us a little lowdown on other ways to pay for it. Absolutely. So There are often different financial packages to be able to move to a CCRC based on your budget and based on the way that your checkbook rolls out at the end of every month. There's also our most popular option. We can do a 100% refundable entry fee or a 90% refundable entry fee based on which campus or ministry offers that. And Kelly, when that person moves from their independent living to another level of care, what we do is we give back 100 or 90% of those funds based on Mm. that. So there's also straight rental. So if you okay. decide, okay, that's going to be twenty eight fifty a month to be able to rent this one bedroom with a, you know, sunroom and a view of the woods, we're able just to collect that up front. So again, there's okay. a lot of diversity and financial options. The higher up in level of care you are, the more options you have. So independent living has the most flexible of options and kind of as you move through the continuum, there's a little less and less. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for that breakdown, Molly. Really helpful. Right. And then you said for long-term care insurance, you see you know, people using that and obviously CCRCs. I think in just facilities and communities in general appreciate it because it is guaranteed money from the yes. client that they have coming in. And so that provides mm-hmm. you guys guarantees and predictability knowing, hey, we don't have to worry about these people running out of money because we have yes. this stream of income, right? To be able to pay for care. Yes, absolutely. And it's true. Having that extra financial cushion gives you the ability to say yes. And it gives you, again, that predictability to say, okay, I am, you know, not likely going to outlive my funds, which is wonderful because it opens you up to that legacy of being able to provide for your family and loved ones. 